Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today is December 23rd, it is a Saturday, and I wanted to do a last flip of my um, Motown Espresso before I move into midnight. I wanted to update you on the sticker album situation and talk a little bit about, about goal setting for me in 2024 and what that looks like. So this has been the last two months complete organized chaos i've been loving it honestly um this is the motown espresso um 25 mm rings and yeah this is literally just literally what i've been doing have not taken anything out the reason why she's so chunky is because nothing has come out so november and december is in here so y'all already seen pretty much all this before um back pocket just have some papers in here some stickers that i like to use and then three toe pocket from cat espresso co um and here is the calendar card from cloth and paper and here is word of the month which is believe for december um calendar card from infinite lotus this is a little freebie from salty 22 and then we have some freebies from rosie these little freebies i just got in my point hunt order which is super cute so i might figure out how to use those in um next year and then some freebies from paperly planning that i've been using in my weeklies this is just some randomness this is me um i did this back in like what is this september this is like a random little day designer that i like to plan on sometimes but I did this back in these in September because I was trying to plan out my color coding system for my goals and we'll talk about this just some stickers freebie card stickers whatever random um fly leaf I just have some sticky notes and then these are these little cute little sticky notes are from Lucy Plans Life I have been wanting to try her sticky notes for the longest and I finally place an order for black friday so that's that and then a new um inbox sticky note from rosie that i got for black friday 2023 point and hunt vellum this is a 2023 year the glance from rosie and real quick okay y'all see how this that little leather piece here just ruined all of these even the divider so i gotta figure out a way for this to not happen in um 2024 in my new setup so um cover page from Elamon Paper Co. Perpetual calendar from Rosie and dashboard from Rosie. And then my dividers are all from Salty 22. So first is the outline. Y'all know I have my goals in here. So um 2023 year at a glance from Elamon Paper Co. And then these are the yearly overview inserts from cloth and paper. The yearly plan, Elamon Paper Co. And this, this is the one that I did not use in 2023. So this is like an, a sample of how I'm going to be using it in 2024. So I have four goals. Um, so I have my goals going across the top and then I have like some little action steps from um, January to December. So I need to do this in order to get to February and so forth and so forth. So just kind of playing out, playing out ways to use it. And then this is memory keeping, but for 2024, it'd be, um, some big wins small wins accomplishments all of that stuff vellum from rosie over the illumination dashboard from cloth and paper and then my plan section sticky notes on paper replanning um random notes um year to grants on cardstock these are from starbucks and this is a little bookmark my friend gave me holidays from cloth and paper monthly section cover from Elamon paper co and then monthly um, plan from Elamon Paper Co. And then a little wish list here that I was using. This is from Noted, um, the Rosy Dashboard, December month on two page came out super cute. I was finally able to use those stickers that I had been holding for Christmas. Um, Believe Yourself Dashboard from Cloth and Paper, the task management inserts from, from Elamon Paper Co. that I will be taking with me into 2024. So what I've been doing recently is when I plan out my goals, like this is all of my goals for December. When I plan out my goals, I put them on here. They have a due date. I put the due date and then it's just a running list. And that's, these are just all tasks. Like these are action items and I put them in there and I just check them off. I did purchase these from, from Elamon Paper Co. for 2024 because I want this to be 
like a little duo. So goals and then anything that kind of like run over. So that's that. This is a um, monthly goal planner from Point Hunt. I'm pissed that I did not use this insert and I intended to. I even put the little dates. I intended to, but I wasted this sticker. So I'm at a bet. Um, paper planning, goal setting insert. This is a daily cover page from Elamon Paper Co. Daily sticky note from Point Hunt. Cloth and paper, cloth and paper, cloth and paper. This is um, from Elamon Paper Co. Work week agenda sticky notes from Point Hunt, growth dashboard from Rosie, and then a bunch of notes, goals, and all this stuff that I have to transfer and go through. Just randomness, work notes. Um, I ordered these tabs from Point Hunt, and I just put one of each in here just to test them out and see how they look in here and see how they hold up. They are super thin, but I have not been taking care of this planner, so that's probably that's why they look all crazy like this. But they're super cute. Um, daily plan for November. The sticky note is from Point Hun, and then we just go into my dailies, and y'all have seen pretty much all of that dailies. I always have the weekly insert in here in between my dailies because they have been such a lifesaver. Yep, just dailies. Um, on Fridays, I'll put this little um, weekly check-in in here and I'll fill that out. Have some routines in here, more routines, more routines. Um, I finally put in, I had no luck. Remember I was like talking about, um, I just do not do well with habit trackers. So finally, I was like, forget it. I'm just going to put a habit tracker in here and see what happens. I put a habit tracker in here for December and I just put it in here. I knew I wanted to track my devotion. I knew I wanted to track my AG Greens, but I was like, all right, whatever else I just feel like I want to feel like I want to track, I'll just write it in here and I'll track. I have been doing really, really good with this because I have not forced myself to use it. Just like as things come up that I want to track, I put them on here. If that makes any sense. Like originally, how I would approach a habit tracker was I would just put a bunch of shit on there that I wanted to track. But like, I don't know. It just never worked out. Anyway, this works. Don't know <laughs> don't know what the difference is, but it works. Um, I purchased these cleaning inserts from Elamon Paper Co. for 2024. And I put one in here so I can test it out. And I love it. So this is for chores in the front. And then I actually was using it for um, skincare on the back. And I loved that too. And I didn't want to use any more of these because these are for next year. So I just went in my stash and got the cleaning chore insert from cloth and paper and was using that and have been using this for my skincare. And I've actually been using these like every week consistently. So I, I'm really loving these and I purchased some new skincare um, inserts to use in 2024. And just more little weeklies and dailies, weekly inch, um, weekly expenses I've also been using these two like this week I wanted to focus on my space clean space clear mind blah 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 I want to focus on my mental check-ins this week so I don't know just been having fun with just everything um more weekly expenses because this is literally chef's kiss um this is this week weekly check-in all that stuff and then this is all next week stuff and then just extra inserts for next week dashboard from cloth and paper sticky notes um and then this is my project section forgot to mention that which is just where i do like track if i post when i post whatever the case may be and these are from infinite lotus month on two page and then um her weeklies that are very bare for december um but these are in here dashboard from Rosie and then some social media stuff that y'all have seen before and focus section is my finance section tough time dashboard from closet and paper personal growth cover page from Elamon paper co yearly overview um I got this little transparent file from Amazon it came in a two pack I really like this I just wanted it because a little f I wanted to put in my finance section um, these teller slips are from the aesthetic dollar when I purchased my savings challenges from her a while back. 
um, bills. This is a saving challenge that I purchased for 2024. And I have just been putting what I'm saving for and then the amount. I've been doing like the month, the amount, and then, yeah. Just opened up a high yield savings account. So I just had my little savings there. And this is that um, weekly check-in insert that I will be using for my sinking funds in 2024. That is definitely a goal. So I have that there. And then that vertical monthly that, that I like to use to see my bills out as well. Um, this is a sticky note from Norse Clove. I love this sticky note. And then just a bunch of order trackers and wish list stuff. In the back up here is a bunch of shit that I need to go through and figure out if I want to take with me into 2024. But that is it, y'all. That is it. It is complete chaos, but I have been loving it for the last couple um, couple of months. And that is that. Yes. Final flip of 2023. It is crazy. But we love her. This cover, I mean, I, I can't even remember when I moved into in here. I was trying to look. And my memory keeper but i cannot remember when i moved in here but it's i've been in this for a minute and it's beautiful like oh love her so yep yeah, that is that okay so sticker albums we went with larger discs y'all i just went and purchased the three and four quarter inch disc and i purchased more inserts for the albums and this is what we looking like and yeah i'm happy i cannot be happier with it so I got some new stuff in here and then some new stuff in here. So let me just show you what's new. Um, icons are pretty much still the same. I did get some. Y'all, I got these phone icons. I'm like, why did I get these? I cannot remember. So anyway, got those, got these new. And then that is pretty much it. I did put the Planet Monkey Co. stuff in here um, that I have placed an order for. This, these were freebies um, from your Everyday Planner. This is from Sweet Caress. We'll talk about this in a minute. <laughs> um, these are just old stickers that I had in that three-tail pocket um, that I moved into here. You know, I've seen this before. These are new from Rosie. I got Essentials in Work. I put those Gracie Edit stickers in here that didn't, wasn't in here before. And then, okay, so this is new from sweet caress so super quick i wish i would have had this prior to placing my black friday order so this is like the new kind of color update because i didn't know that the company had um i guess like enhanced their colors or like switched their colors or whatever so backstory september i planned out my colors that I wanted to use for my goals for 2024. So these are all the colors that I had for Sweet Caress. These are page flags from Cotton Paper that I already had. And then these are Tombos, the number of Tombos that I already had that kind of goes with the whole vibe, right? So I was just shopping my stash. So these are the Sweet Caress of the original stickers from Sweet Caress that I had already. And that's kind of like how I got the colors, right? So I was like, okay, cool. I have these. I'll just purchase um, some new ones or more so that I can use in 2024. So um, got my order. This is super cute, but this is oatmeal. I don't have oatmeal to compare right now, but this is taupe. And then this is supposed to be taupe. So it's a lot more saturated than, you know, <laughs> Then originally, it's completely fine. Um, I will use these up no matter what. Um, let's see, this is a light gray. This is super cute. This is for social media posts. Um, but this is light gray, and then this is light gray. Don't know if you can see that. Oh no, so a little bit of a difference. This is pewter, and then that is supposed to be pewter. So yeah, I'm not going to use these for my goals because I kind of had like a little, I don't know, a little vibe that I wanted to go for. Um, I'm not going to use those for my goals. I'm definitely going to use them because I purchased them. So that happened. And then I did get these from Sweet Caress. These are the icons and titles. And these are these super cute to just put on page flags and move throughout your planner. And it comes with four sheets. Um, so we got those and then I have my little minimal line collection in here. So these are micro dots from the minimal line and these are going to be my colors 
for my goals. I only have four goals and these are going to be the colors because, um, yeah, that's just that. So I'm very excited about this. And I got her weeklies because I'm going to be using these on some of her undated inserts. And this was a freebie, super cute. Her date dots I'm going to be using in my productivity planner from Noted for my goals. And this is my first um, order from Your Everyday Planner. Got the smiley faces, the dash ring, which I know I'm obsessed with anything that looks like this. And then deadline reminders. And Noted Deco to do. And then the wavy affirmations, super cute. And then y'all have pretty much already seen all of this paper replanning stuff. So I got a bunch of the scripts that I already had, the cursive, the minimal, um, the ovals, arches, all of that other deco that was um, not in a, that was not in the album. I put in here. Um, and then I have my 2024 holidays and then 2023 holidays because I haven't used some of those, all of those um, icons. That is it for that one. And then the only thing that is new in here is my um, Norris clove stuff. So, cause I'm obsessed with pompous grass. So I got a whole bundle of pompous grass. I love this color. Um, so I got like, all of that. And then I got, um, she sent me this freebie of mocha. And then I already had ice milk and I wanted ice milk dots. Already had oatmeal cookie and I wanted oatmeal cookie glue um, washi tapes. Cause when I do like my little spreads, I like to have like little cute little matchy stuff. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much the sticker album. I'm very happy, nice and chunky, and still have room to grow. And then, of course, I have the, I went ahead and purchased the one itch disc too because it's not, it's a matter of just like when I'm going to need them, not if. So purchase those, and yeah, that's all. Okay, y'all, so goal setting for me for 2024. So December 2022, I watched a Moxie Life masterclass and decided that I wanted to try their free principles um, for goal setting. I did their compass assessment. I did um, the intention sheet, which I absolutely love. And then I set my annual goals using this stuff. I use their things to consider each month when I set my monthly goals, which I absolutely love because this just allows you to um, think of different areas that you probably wouldn't think of um, in each area of life. So I love this worksheet. I loved that. And it worked for a while. So what I would do is I would just write, use this executive notebook from Hawk and Paper to write out my goals in each category. I did... Um, this is the life area key. So this is all the categories that Moxie Life gives you. And then these are all the tombos that I used, um, that I had on hand and I just used and color coded it myself. So it started off like this. <laughs> then it quickly moved to no color coding, just getting my goals down. And then it moved to give me a piece of paper. I just need to write my goals down. So this <laughs> like, yeah. So that's how it went because what happened was um, August, around August, I started to feel overwhelmed with the categories. I started to feel like there were just too many categories and I just didn't have enough to put down for each category. And I know better. Like, I know that if it's not relevant in this season to just ignore it, but of course I didn't, I don't know, just being overwhelmed. Um, I just couldn't ignore it. It was just too much for me. So and that happened and then that started the brainstorming for my 2024 setup and what that looked like for me and then making the decision to um just have a four goals because what i realized is that what was happening was the categories that i didn't have anything to put in or i couldn't think of any goals it was because they had already turned into habits and like i was just needing to maintain them so like the family and friends category and like the physical environment category i had been doing stuff you know, in the previous months to work on that goal. So it was no longer a goal. It just became like habit, it just became routine. So that's why I didn't have anything in there. So I was like, you know what? 2024, four goals, and I'm just going to be focusing on my routines and my habits. But, but because I love a little bit of structure, I still wanted some type of prep work, um, you know, before I set my goals and stuff, like I want to sit with myself, set my goals, think about some things and kind of do like a little review 
and then start new. So I remember back in the day that I used to use the day designer printables. I used to use their dailies and something similar to this. It was like an ideal schedule just so that I can be able to kind of like plan out a routine if my routine changed for some reason. So this is what I'm going to be using for my prep work before I set my goals. And I'm going to just walk you through what that's going to look like so this is the core elements worksheet essentially this is for your values your passions strengths which was going to equal your core so you're going to put your passions in your passion in your passion section you're going to put like what makes your heart sing and then for your strengths you're going to talk about things that you enjoy doing um or that people tell you you do well and then for your values you're going to think um about the things that matter to you the most and then at the center of all that stuff is your core and then I'm going to be doing this one. So this is a more of and then less of for 2024, your 2024 intentions, which these two questions are on the Moxie Life worksheet as well. I'm going to be doing this one too, because I really enjoyed um, all of these questions. I loved how this came out for 2023 for me. Um, so I'm going to be doing this as well. And my word of the year is going to be um, champion. So 2023 my word of the year was abide it was abide in the lord it was like if it looks i don't care how bad it looks i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't care how bad it looks you have to abide in the lord what happened was i had never done a year um a word of the year and then um when i was doing this it kind of came up and i was like i'm not gonna force it i don't know like what that looks like for me and then i went over to my grandmother's house and um, she had my mother and I watch a sermon and it was T.D. Jakes and he, the sermon was titled Abide and it was so freaking good. It was just like basically this man like following him or like following God and he was beat broken. Like it was like just, just uh, like it was crazy and he just was like no matter what happened, he was following him. I was like, that's how I have to be. That's how I have to be. So that was my word. And then again, same thing for um 2024 i just kind of let it come to me and it is going to be champion because i even have like muhammad ali on <laughs> my vision board because it's given fight like i watched another sermon and it just talks about how you literally have to fight every morning put a put on the full armor of god and fight for your dreams fight for your family fight for your health just you have to fight because the enemy is literally coming after you to steal kill and destroy so you have to be suited and booted y'all so my word of the year is going to be champion and i'm very excited about it so and that is that and then i'm going to be doing this um 2024 go setting worksheet so these are going to be um habits and a little bit of goals i see like money is money is one here which is um one of my goals um and then for the most part it's just going to be kind of making sure that i'm on top of those habits for the most part for this one and then with these i have four of these because i have four goals so action plan just kind of pull out your goals your routines and habits what you got to do your tracker whatever so i'm going to be filling these out for each um goal and then i'm going to be transferring this to my um goals planner and then transfer that into my um, personal rings, which is going to be my task manager. So for those, and then an ideally schedule. This is just a time block schedule just for um, for this particular season. I know Cultivate What Matters and Moxie Life kind of allows you or has in their planners um, a space for you to review your routine for the season of life that you're in. So this is perfect. I'm going to be doing this. And then I printed this one out just because, because it reminded me of, wait, it reminded me of this page right here, right? So this can be like my draft and then I'll just like move it into my personal rings for my goals. So that's that. It only has three. So I'll just like use a pencil or use page flags and um, just use the back because this is just, you know, like a little draft and then quarterly reviews will go on here so each quarter i will print out one of these um just has some basic questions and then my monthly reviews will go um on here as well so i'll print out 12 of these and then my weekly review will go um in my personal ring so y'all have seen that um 
the productivity planner. So weekly reviews will go, weekly reflections will go on here in my personal rings. So that is that. That is how I'm going to be using this. So after I do all of this prep work this weekend, because I really feel like I'm behind on everything. After I do all this prep work this weekend, I am then going to um, just take that and put it in here. So um, I already have my goals for January written out. So I ideally what would go on here is workouts, the days that I want to do my meal prepping, my um, book of the month, my Bible reading stuff, my payday. My payday will go in here because um, I might go, I have a goal for finances. So I need to figure out when I get paid so that I can know when I'm budgeting. Um, my no spend will go in here. I really want to do a no spend January because it's been, I've been wilding out been welling out um any business um meetings we're going to go in here like anything we're going here that's for the monthly just so that i can get a visual of like what's going on um and then i can transfer that into the personal rings and then like i said monthly to do so everything i want to get done for january go here and then the task um the action items go here and then they get transferred into the personal rings um task manager I know that it's like repetitive, but I don't care. I'm the type of person that I like to write multiple times just so that I can get it done. <laughs> Essentially, this is a draft. Um, and then that will go on for the rest of the year. And then if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll tweak it. I did just write out everything that I just talked about. So how I'm going to be using the day designer worksheets and this planner. And then I wrote out my quarterly planner, my monthly planner monthly reflection, weekly routine, my daily routine. And then I kind of stole some ideas from the power sheets and um, Moxie Life because I love the power appointments, little 15 minute power appointments. Basically you schedule 15 minutes in your day to um, help you just move towards your goal. If you feel like you're just like not, not hitting it, just like add 15 minutes to your day, get it done. Okay, y'all, I just made a mess, but I hope all of this made sense. I just wanted to share kind of like the state that I'm in right now, what I'm looking forward to and what I'm trying to get done. I feel like I'm a little bit behind on my goal setting, but I have this entire week. So I will see y'all in the next video. Um, I do have a video coming out on Christmas that I filmed like a couple weeks ago, but it's a collab. So y'all will see that. And then I will see y'all in January for my 2024 setup and flip through. I see y'all in the next one. Bye.